Hey everyone, it's Laura and welcome back to another Plan With Me Tuesday video. This week, that was very aggressive, sorry. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. That was better. So this week I am going to be using a kit by Anything Elsie. It was called the PJ Day Kit and I leave her link down in the description box as I always do so you guys can go and check out her channel. Her channel? <laughs> no. Check out her shop. Well she may have a channel. I don't know but I will leave her shop link down in the description box. I'm also going to be using the same pen as last week so if you didn't see last week's video I discovered these quick rapid dry ink pens by Zebra. These are in the 0.7 size and they literally dry within one second of using them so you aren't likely to smudge them in your planner which is amazing. Somebody was asking if they would work on gloss paper so I decided to grab my gloss paper out and give it a try and they do smudge unless you want to do this magic waving your hand to dry them which is kind of pointless because you could use some kind of permanent marker ones that would dry instantly on gloss paper so they wouldn't be very good for gloss paper but anything else like the normal sticker paper the matte sticker paper or on your actual planner they work amazing and they dry straight away they also don't bleed straight through onto your planner either so if you've made a mistake and you take a sticker up it's not going to have bled through onto your planner pages well not so far anyway I shouldn't say that because I haven't peeled up a sticker specifically to check I have made a mistake and peeled a sticker up and it hasn't bled through so I'm assuming that but maybe I shouldn't say that so don't take that for a hundred percent um the only thing that I would like to change is the size I would like it if it was a lot smaller because as I was saying last week it's quite an inky pen so it's kind of like a a lot of wet ink this sounds bizarre, it sounded bizarre when I was saying it last week, but I would like to see if they do a smaller size and then this pen would be perfect and I would never switch back because this is a lot fatter than what I'm used to. So I find it hard to do my bubble writing, but I'm slowly getting used to it. So getting back to this week's video, I'm starting by going in day by day. So on Monday, as always, I have a lift to work with my friend. So I just put that on a half box. I put my full box down to block off some time as obviously I'm at work all day. And I had to mark down that it was so hot yesterday at work. It was so humid. There was no air. I struggled at work. So I had to put the nope, pop it down like with his hand up because it was just way too hot. My son also had an English exam. So I put the shocked pop it face down. And it was also my cousin Jude's birthday as well. So I put a little half box down and a little celebrate pop it, which is throwing the confetti up. Even though it kind of looks like hair when you quickly look at it, it's not hair, it's confetti. He's throwing it up. It's like a party. He's celebrating. I had to do a quick dash to Tesco's after work. Unfortunately, I swear that everybody in the local surrounding towns thought the same thing because it was insanely busy. So that was that was not good. That was not fun. Um, I wanted to film this plan with me when I got home from work and also I've been kind of DIYing a coffee table for my living room and I wanted to finish that off when I got home as well. I took one of the poppets from the laptop sheet as he had a, like a little hammer and I just trimmed off the laptop part and it worked out really well and it looks so cute with him kind of peeking round with a hammer. So I really want to maybe design some DIY poppets. I think that would be really fun. And then moving on to Tuesday, so today I have my HelloFresh delivery, so I use one of the poppets from the food sheet with a little basket of fresh food. My son also has um, two exams, he has his physics exam today and his history exam. Poor boy, having two exams on one day, <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine, he's going to ace it. The next up, I wanted to obviously edit this plan with me, so I just used one of my little camera icon doodles. The pencils are also my own doodles as well. And then I wanted to do this voiceover, which I'm currently doing. And that again is just one of my doodles of a little microphone. To block off some time, because obviously it takes a while to do all of those, I just used a full box. And then I wanted to make sure that I remembered to schedule it to publish the video. So I just used one of the little laptop stickers laptop poppets even <laughs> to mark that down. My cat has also got to have some medication so I just used one of my poppet cats and then on a page flag I just wrote down meds and the little arrow is just another one of my doodle stickers. Sorry because they're not up in the shop so I feel bad for using them. For Wednesday it's my orders day. I really look forward to a Wednesday because I like to try and get everything done on a Tuesday and leaves Wednesday completely free to do everyone's orders and it just makes me really happy. So I always look forward to Wednesday. So I put down the orders at the top with a little Etsy poppet 
I filled up some time with a full box and my son has got a computering exam which he's actually looking forward to. I know it's strange to say that a child is looking forward to an exam but he's all right about that one so I just put one of the little happy puppets down I just trimmed off the bottom and then I want to answer some YouTube comments so I put down one of my little floral puppets and wrote down YouTube comments. The birds are super super loud I don't know if you'll be able to hear them in this video but they're just really really loud right now and I've even got my windows closed to do this voiceover. But anyway, moving on, I wanted to put down that I was going to be listening to some podcasts, so I just put a thin strip of washi and a podcast sticker. I've also got some uh, Happy Mail Jew for myself. It's been such a long time since I've ordered myself any stickers, so I'm very excited because I've got some new kits and new stickers coming. So I've just put that down on a half box and then put one of my little Poppet Happy Mails down. And then I wanted to doodle some ideas for Instagram to put on my... What would you, what, I can't remember what you call them, the highlights on my page, that was it. So I'm going to be doodling some ideas for that. And then flipping it over to Thursday, I started with the full box up at the top. Sorry, I like slipped up on my words. A full box up at the top. My son has got his chemistry exam. So I just put that on a half box with a little crying face because I know he doesn't like chemistry. And then on a half box, I put a stack of books with a little poppet behind it as I ordered some books to the library and they should be in on Thursday for me to go and pick up. So I put that down and then um, I want to do like a housework blitz. I just need to blitz through the whole house very quickly. So I just put that on a washi strip as like I was saying did I say I don't know if I did I was running out of the small boxes that I've been writing on so I decided to use some of the washi strips that come with the kit because you know I just I was running out I needed something so that's what I come up with <laughs> it's also my bin day collection so I put down a little bin poppet and then right at the bottom there I want to make sure that I've posted everybody's orders so if I haven't managed to post it on the Wednesday I'll be posting it out on the Thursday. Sometimes I have to do two batches because otherwise my post office doesn't like me when I walk in there so I try to like keep it to a small controllable amount so if I've got a lot of orders I'll post some Wednesday and some Thursday and then moving on to Friday I'm working so I just put down one of the kind of meh pop it faces because that's how I feel about going into work on Fridays <laughs> and then um, my son has got two more exams on Friday as well he's got a math exam and a bio exam or biology exam it's also a payday so I put, put down two pieces of washi and a pop it payday I also need to order some more sticker paper for my shop so I use one of my planning princess stickers just to mark that and then it's obviously my new release and I actually have them ready to show you this week amazing I know but this week's um, new release is going to be these poppet floaties so there's some on like the little rings that you can swim in some on little lilos and some with little armbands on very cute and I decided to use the one laying on the lilo with his little like his little bum because I thought that was hilarious so I've used that one and then underneath there I've put down a full box and I've also got a build you on Friday so I just use one of the build you stickers I'm really excited to use my poppet floaties more when we're going to the beach and things in the summer holidays. I'm really excited to use those. So moving on to the weekend, I put my weekend banner down at the top and then I've got a college open day that I'm taking my son up to where we're actually all going. It's like a family day out slash not a family day out, but we're all going up there to have a look at the college and I'm hopefully going to like inspire my younger son as well by having a look at colleges as well. And then as we're going to be out, we'll probably have lunch out. So I just use one of the scalloped labels and a little poppet holding the French fries because no doubt we'll probably have McDonald's or Pizza Hut or something that involves chips or kind of takeaway food because for some reason we are unable to eat healthy when we go out. Um, I put a checklist down uh, that's not supposed to be there and I do go back and change it. I've done it twice. I've done it on the Saturday and the Sunday. They're supposed to be full boxes. I don't know why I put a checklist down. I don't know if that was like just in my hand I'm not sure but I do go back and change it I have need to make sure I've washed the uniforms so I put down these are all like strips of washi because I completely run out of quarter and half boxes and labels so I just use the washi as them so I wanted to make sure I got the uniforms done I needed to water the plants I wanted to steam up all of the floors and I've got some recycling that I want to sort through and sort out and then lastly I wanted to take some photos so I just used one of my doodle cameras and wrote down to take the photos 
And then moving on to Sunday, I took the rest of a checklist. So I trimmed down the checklist when I was putting on the Friday for the math and biology exam. I just trimmed off the top two kind of hearts to mark that down. So I just used the rest of that as I just needed to organize my pantry and I wanted to like clean the fridge and sort the shoes out and you know, all that kind of mummy house stuff. So I just put that up at the top. And then last weekend I saw these really big lavender plants which were just expensive and I talked myself out of buying them because they were expensive just because they're so big and I have not been able to stop thinking about them because I want to buy them and put them out in the front garden. So I'm going to be going back and buying them. I talked myself out of it and now I'm going to be talking myself into it. So I'm going to be doing that on Sunday and then um, we'll probably have to cut the grass and do kind of the gardeny things on Sunday. My children will make sure that they've got their homework done on the Sunday as well, ready to go back to school on Monday. So I want to make sure that we've got the packed lunches ready. And then here I put down another checklist, but you'll see I will swap them over for full boxes. I still don't understand how or why I done that. And then right at the bottom there, I was going to treat myself and let myself go on Sims for a little while on Sunday because we all need a treat now and then. Here I am just ripping up, not ripping up, but taking up the checklists and replacing them for full boxes. And then we can jump on over to the sidebar. So I used a full box up at the top. My sidebar, I feel, never changes and I feel like I should switch it up and do something different so it's not so boring every single video but I just always put a full box up at the top and then I put my habit trackers down and I normally have two habit trackers which are for Instagram for making sure that I'm posting on Instagram and also for kind of well I always write face but it's for skincare to make sure that I'm doing all of my skincare because I keep buying these fancy expensive skincare items and then I use them for a day and then I kind of don't so I always try to track it to make sure that I'm using them and then I thought this week in my sidebar I would mark for my HelloFresh so as this is the first time we're doing HelloFresh I just want to write down the meals that we've had from them and then just either tick it if we all liked it or make a little cross if we didn't and that way I know to either make them again or order them again and then I've always got a next week section at the bottom but here is everything that I have got left after this week's spread. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And oh, I've still got the um, glitter headers left because I didn't actually use them. They're not actually glitter headers. They're kind of sequins. They're lots and lots of sequins. They're really sweet. But anyway, I didn't use them. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's plan with me. If you did, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and also hit the bell notification. And that way you'll never miss one of my videos that I upload. And as always, I hope you guys are having an amazing week so far and I will see you next time. Bye guys.